Have you ever pondered upon the concept of grace and redemption, and what it truly means to be justified freely? A question that can ignite a profound journey of introspection and enlightenment. We'll explore this theme, unraveling the deep layers of meaning hidden within the words of Romans 3.24. This is not about a religious doctrine, but a universal concept that transcends boundaries and cultures. So, are you ready to delve into the depths of understanding and wisdom? Let's dive into the profound wisdom that lies within Romans 3.24. The scripture Romans 3.24 states, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Now, let's unpack that a bit. Justified in this context means to be made right, to be deemed righteous in the eyes of God. But how does this happen? Not through our own actions or good works. None of us could ever do enough good or be righteous enough on our own to erase the sin that separates us from God. This brings us to the concept of grace. Grace, in its simplest form, is the unmerited favor of God. It's a gift, freely given, not something we can earn or deserve. It's this grace, this divine generosity that makes us righteous, that justifies us. Then there's redemption, a term often associated with a price or cost. But in this context, it's about being set free, being saved from the penalty of death that our sins deserve. It's about being bought back, reclaimed, and restored. And the price, it's one we could never afford to pay. It's a cost covered by Christ Jesus himself. So when we talk about being justified by grace through redemption, we're talking about an act of divine love so profound it's hard to fathom. It's about being made right with God, not because of what we've done, but because of what has been done for us. So it is not our righteousness, but God's unmerited favor that saves us. Now, having explored the depths of grace and redemption, it becomes clear how we stand before God. Our righteousness, our ability to stand blameless, is not a result of our own deeds or virtues. Instead, it's the unmerited favor, the grace of God, that redeems us. This grace, freely given, is what justifies us, making us right with our Creator. We are reminded that no amount of good we do can erase the sin that once separated us from God. No price we could ever afford can buy back our lives from the penalty of death. It's a humbling realization that our salvation is not something we could have achieved on our own. It's a gift, a divine act of redemption through Christ Jesus. So, let us be thankful for the gift of righteousness, for it is not our own doing but the result of what Jesus has done for us.